All right, we're gonna do a little video here. Uh, this is the real ink camera. I've already done some videos on rewiring these to operate a hog trap. Um, this, uh, doing it this way, you won't have to do any soldering. So uh, you guys that aren't familiar with soldering, this will be a little easier setup. I've already undone the screws. I'm gonna pull the cap off. I've already undone the tape that holds that in place. Uh, we're gonna unplug the battery pack. Lay that aside. Um, there, uh, there is some silicone around the screw here. I just kind of take a, uh, a little awl, kind of dig that out. And then you've got an eight millimeter. Pull the little nut off your antenna. Uh, push your antenna out the back. Uh, there will be some glue on a little pin here. I normally take a, just a small set of uh, pliers and uh, just kind of pull that loose. I've already done it just to save a little time. Uh, we're going to push our antenna through. Uh, we got three screws here to take the camera apart. All right, we're going to pull that apart, but uh, before we before we get too far, uh, you will have to feed, uh, this is a uh, 24 gauge cable. It's gonna hang out of the back of the camera. It's, uh, that way you don't have to do any soldering. I think I probably prefer the uh, other connector I used, but uh, this will be a waterproof connector hanging out of the back of the camera. So we're gonna have to thread this through uh, as we go. Uh, so uh, back here, Back here on the back of the camera, I'm going to go ahead and kind of look for my spot here. I've got a uh, 532nd drill bit. We're going to go about right here with it. And go all the way through there. All right, we're gonna make sure we get any uh, any shavings uh, from inside here that don't catch up on our pan pan motor. Uh, you probably will have to uh, work on that hole just a little bit. It's gonna be a pretty tight fit. We'll see if we can work it through here. All right, we're gonna go a little bit bigger on our hole here. Now you can go the next size bigger on the drill bit, uh, but I uh, just, I like the, the area to be as tight as possible there. All right, so as you can see, you were fed all the way through there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and feed these wires. And pull all these screws out so I don't lose them. Feed these wires down through here. And we can go ahead and push these through just to, uh, just to give us a little bit of space. We just wanna make sure that this guy uh, is already fed through when you start going back with it. All right, so we're gonna pull this top off. So that'll kind of get everything separated, get us plenty of room. All right. And go ahead and 
pull these six screws Trying to go a little faster on this video. The other one was a bit long, so see if we can make this one a little quicker so you don't get bored to death. All right, so we're gonna grab our little cable here. And we can pull this all the way in so we have a little bit more room. Go ahead and feed it down here. It is a little tighter doing it this way, but uh, like I said, that way you don't have to make any uh, have to solder any connections uh, the little maybe you can see that the little wire we're going to cut is the wire that goes to the speaker we're going to get down there as close as we can to the speaker cut the wires there's a little slack uh, down in the camera to pull that out so I'm gonna get it pulled up here. It is a real small wire, so just be careful. This is where I would generally solder, but uh, we're gonna use some crimp caps on this one. Strip our wires back. We're gonna go red to red here. Twist them together real good. Got our little crimp cap here. that on use some good crimpers make sure our wires pushed in good make sure they stayed connected and they did uh, I'm using the red and green on this cable so we'll just know that green uh, will be black another little crimp cap Put him on there and we're connected up so we'll uh, go ahead and start going back together little arrow there is going to line up with the uh, front of the camera where the speaker is We got these six screws to put back.
as I stated in a previous video, this will, of course, uh, void your warranty. I've done uh, several of these cameras now with the audio mod, and I haven't had any, any failures with any of them. Uh, using the parts that I uh, list and, and post videos for. Been uh, really, really dependable. All right, just kind of going back together with it here. Got our little cables fed through. Work everything back through here. A little piece that holds the camera together here does have a, a specific place it fits. It has a little pin that sticks up through there and some smaller screws. All right, get pretty close here. Uh, I do uh, fasten this to the tire out, a couple of tire outs. Always try to be careful with that cable. You don't want to put too much strain on it. Cinch it up good and tight there. I'm gonna put another one on it. All right, so you can pull pretty good on that cable and it's not gonna come out. So we're gonna get our little antenna fed back through here. You can reseal around this antenna connector. Uh, I always have all my cameras covered anyway, so that's not, not anything I've ever been uh, too concerned about. So we got our antenna connected back over here out of the way. I'll plug our batteries back in. 
your little tape back over them and everything fits back good and snug uh, i'm going to go uh, i'm going to fasten the screws but that won't be part of the video and uh, i'll post a video next uh, with this uh, hooked up and working with the solid state relay setup all right i hope this helps y'all out